I cannot give the test I plan to give on the, on the last test, on the last syllabus test. By your so I'll do that for next Wednesday and this one too. I got three, one, three, five, zero. Uh, so that'd be two tests going down there. You got three, one, three, five, zero. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to test for Memphis this time, and I'll drop me in. I was going through Wendy Dixie. That's going to give me some other. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's 44. Some jolly ranchers. Mm -hmm. Oxygen is 16 times 2. What about plus that? The this carbon. is the oil that you cook popcorn in. Now, I don't use this, but I use the kind of bag, right? And it back opens up. <laughs> so if I get done, if, if you cook old fashioned, you may have to. I'm not going to go I'm going to go to the So if you cook popcorn, you know, like you did it when 30 years ago and you use oil, it's supposed to be, it's over wrap bottom. And you may have it, because I'm not, I don't use this oil, but I want to see. Okay. You might not want to do anything with this. Well, if you do it separately. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, uh, we're using this one, and I brought in the uh, the 10% milk. That's what I thought. Okay, I want to give you a quick overview of what we're doing, and I'll slide in and over there with them and, and work like I did last time in the chair right there. All right. <laughs> this is the introductory slide. And, this, and, and the way it works is, is fairly simple. Sudan is soluble in fat, but not water. 216. So if you, got, if you got any kind of fats in there, Sudan is going to stain them a pretty rich brown color. And the more fat you have, the bigger the bands. And you'll see in a minute what I mean by bands is going to be. Now, I've never done this yet. So I'll be watching it when you watch it. I've done the other one. And when I did this, when we used the paper bag, the paper sack, and the paper sack, you rub on the, the product and you look at the window. And if you can see light coming through the bag, there's fat. And if you, all you see is like a wet spot, but no light, it's not, it's not translucent, it's not fat. I just think that's a very high nice check. Though. And you can use um, coffee filter paper also. So I want to see how Sudan works. I mean, you ain't got to boil it or nothing like that. I don't think it'll hurt me, but I'm still wearing gloves. I'm still, I'm still wearing gloves, just I don't know. Um, but what's going to happen when you when you make the stain, if they're fast, they're going to float to the surface. They're going to be on top. Okay? Okay, I'll, I'll wait. Um, this is not in your book. Um, I want to see how Sudan works. I did some research myself. And that's what I gleaned from my research. I don't, I'm not sure the book tells you how the Sudan works. It just tells you how to do it. I want, I want I to know what the thing looking for. It's just, it's, it's, um, it's fat soluble. That's how I find it's fat. And no fat there, that's what happens. I don't even know what color that stuff is before you start. But we'll find out. I, mean, I know that, that Michelle brought me in a, a little body left. We'll find out. We'll learn together. I might going to do this again, but I don't want to. But anyway, the, the next slide is going to tell you the steps I'm going to do. It's not at all what the book said to do. Uh, if you read the book, it's going to use filter paper and draw circles on it and put on your sample and then put on the put that inside a, a bowl like like you develop paper in a, in a bath. I'm going, I ain't doing that. You're too much trouble. You waste too much Suzanne, I believe. So we're good this way. And the way I'm going to do it is not something I invented. I read about it on the internet too, so from a, some college website. So I, I know it's someone probably quite a word. We'll find out. All right, next one. This is how we're doing it. And, I, and um, Sudan 3 is one I was going to use, and the college has Sudan 4. So I was quickly changing all these threes to fours to make it match. And I forgot to change that one. And um, uh, they, they work the same way according to what Michelle told me. Uh, there is one that you can put alcohol. I want to say alcohol because I understand you can add alcohol to the product and, and that does something to the fats to make them more available. But I don't know. I want to find that out. Amen. Also. Makes a point to the top. And um, okay. I want to try to keep my. My step down to three drops, unless I get 
happen to squeeze it hard. But you got you got to let it stand. You got to stand so the precipitate can form. It won't it won't happen. I guess real fast, like we saw some of the uh, bare vegetation do. And I got two pictures showing you what you're going to see. I'm looking forward to seeing it works or not. Then it works on a lab and plan does not work. I have them all on there if you just look at my channel. From the link that I sent you, uh -huh. just go to my channel. Right. You'll see everything I've ever done. <laughs> Sudan is not water soluble. And you put Sudan in plain water, you want it to make a band then? I don't know. You follow me? I know fat won't dissolve in water. If they see a Sudan won't, I'm wondering well, if I had just plain water, it's not going to have fat in it. I know it doesn't. I don't want, I don't want to test plain water too, but I want to know what's happening. It doesn't mention using a hot plate or a hot bath or nothing like that. And, and I'll show you later on uh, the alcohol thing that I've read about. And I, and I asked Michelle, do you use alcohol? She said, no, I don't no, need to. But somebody did, so I'm going to try it too and see if it maybe gets a better result or whatever. Um, now, this is a picture I found I'm showing you what you want to see if there's a fat in the in your testing solution for that. Let me know when you're ready. And this is also not in your book. That's not how the book said to do it. This is how I'm going to do it using my test tube. Now I went online. I'm going to probably buy me some little bit tiny funnels so I don't make a big mess. Is that, is that too big? Going is it? I don't know. I don't know. That's a nice try. But I, I saw some that's called mini funnels, mm -hmm. which had like a quarter inch opening at the bottom. I know they're going in there. So I'm going to probably buy me a set of those. I thought about that. I have some funnels I use for really read on ammunition mm -hmm. that'll fit inside a bullet case, so that would be small enough. I didn't think of breaking. I don't want to I don't mess those up here. Yeah. It doesn't matter those things. Alright, let's see. Now here's what it looks like. If, if it has a reaction, they tell me that's how it's gonna look. There'd be a red band running at the top. And I would guess the broader the band, the more the bad it found. And the skinnier the band, I, I would suspect the less fat. I'm just, I'm just speculating now. I don't know what they were testing. I don't know what that was. I just found the picture. I, I, I looked up, I searched for um, Sudan test images. And I found a bunch of images, all kinds of stuff. And that was a nice one there, so I, so I cut and pasted that one. The next one I also found, and I cut and pasted this one. Obviously, there's a lot more. That and that one. Assuming they use the same amount of Sudan, those kind of. What is on the, what's the clear sort of this? Is that the actual? At the bottom, you mean? Yeah, is it the spatula? That's the water portion that you added. Okay, so there's the water in the fat. It'll be in the water. Okay, because it separates it? Because well, you can't get the water in fat. So right. When I take this, I'm going to add water to it. I should see the yellow floating about the water. Right? Yes. Yeah, don't, don't right. This is all food. So what I expect happens first off is the this on top of the water. So when I add the Sudan solution to it, I wonder how much of that will then turn red. I don't expect all of it to. I don't think it's all fat. But the more it turns red, I'm going to see more fat's in there. And I don't know whether the red is going to be on the top or between the water and this. I don't know what the red is going to be. It might be yellow, red, and white, or cut clear. It might be red. I don't even know. It's like almost like the Benedict says where it'll weaken the strongest but Well, and this one, it won't be weak. It's how big the band is. Oh, really? Okay. It's how big the band is. So, yes, ma'am. Um, so it's like the oil that's on the road whenever it first starts raining, you know, when it rains and they don't mix. Is the oil on the road fat because they're not No. Racing? That's oil, like, from your car. But 
you can't, that's still oil, it's slick. I mean, you, if you bust it on the floor and walk it, you're gonna bust your hind end. This is slick. Uh, that oil also does not mix with the water on the road, and that oil floats. And when your car crosses it, you'll hide the place. Yeah. Because it carries you along. I don't know what they can put on the road that might make the oil go away. I know salt makes ice go away. But um, when it first started raining, you both slow step down take curves slower. I know that. I've been raining for a whole solid week. You know, the roads aren't quite as treacherous, but you still slide. I tell you what, though, I watch it. I mean, I had two, I had, I had two legs. One time I stopped my bike. Right on the, you know, the yellow line they paint there, those suckers are slick. When, and I put my foot down, my foot shot out under me. And just luckily, the bike was leaning up. It had been over, I, it fell on me. So now, even my crutches, when I'm coming in here, I no longer put that crutch on any kind of paint. It's on asphalt, because that crutch will fall off too. And I guess walking with you slide down like that. Now, and that's not, I got more behind this, but this is what I'm going to try to do. I'm, I'm wondering about what I'm, this is not, this is just me, but I'm wondering about how to make an emulsion. An emulsion is where you mix two liquids together that one liquid does not dissolve in the other. And this, when I put this in water, and I shake the crap out of it, that should be an emulsion. Right? Now, if I let it sit long enough, what's going to happen? It's going to separate. It's going to turn back into fat and water. Um, this is where the alcohol comes in. And... I'm, I'm going to try and see what happens. I don't, I don't know what's going to happen. I, I know a centimeter is about the size of my little finger. So I'll put two whiffs of that inside. Um, I read that carefully. Because I'm going to mix this with... And to me, this is this one. I'll make the whole pine out. I don't know what's going to happen. Hang on. Do we need to write this down? No, no, it's still something. I might one day make your kids do it. I, I, I ain't going to do nothing that I don't know what answer is. You, know, you never ask a question, right? If you don't know the answer. Now, I'm getting, I'm getting bad now, but I don't know the answer. If I go here, I have no clue what's going to happen. So, this is a body care experience. Okay. And I'm going to take, like I said, I'm going to use three of those test tubes over there. I'm going to pour that. And I got rubbing out two of them, about two fingers. Do we need to answer those questions? No. Maybe that's for it, but I want to know what happened. But I'm going to. Will you put it on the other page again? It floats. <laughs> So what I want to know, you know, what happened to the oil when I dropped it in the ethanol, and then after I shook it up, what happened to it? We did it in And after adding water to it, what happened? Yes, you can. And right now, I don't have a clue. Yeah, but I'm taking I might one day go back and put Sudan in there and add that wrinkle to it. And just, huh? Oh, you did? You've done this very thing here? What'd you find out? Y'all did the oil and the... Mm -hmm. It mixed a little bit and it's that Okay. Well, good then. Maybe, maybe you have a head start on me. I also want to try it where I put in some detergent. I know detergent cleans grease out of it. I want to see it lift that grease up. Are you making the bowdies? Mm -hmm. Don't drink it. Alright. Well, okay, so I'm going to move in my central station over there.